suppose you need to ask yourself a question when you've got arthritis. Are you existing or are you living? Because um, uh, the fact of the matter is that you can exist with a condition or you can live with it. I'd recommend finding a support group or starting one even. Um, and you, you don't know where it's going to take you. I'm more or less a listener than a talker. But I like it. I like it. It helps other people. You learnt a lot, you did, from these good people as well. It's a support. I think you find that, don't you, Theresa? Yeah. Um, just talking and it's, it's the unsaid thing. We, we don't have to go in and explain, my back hurts today, because you pick it up, you know. Being with other people takes you out of that isolation. We don't want people moaning about their problems at the um, self-help group. We'd rather people try and be happy because laughter is a very good medicine. It's a mindset. Um, when people are initially diagnosed, they're existing with it. But what we do at Arthritis Self-Help Network, we try to get them to live with it. And there's a huge difference because it's how you approach the aspects of what you've got is not curable. And once you accept the fact it's not curable, what do you do about it? You can either beat yourself on the chest and say, right, you know, I'm the only person who's got it. And, you know, I'm being, so why, why, why is it me? Or you can say, well, okay, I've got this condition. Are you gonna let the condition define you or are you gonna define what you can do with it? And I think that's the most important thing about arthritis. And you don't know where to turn. And you've just got to take a few steps and, and seek out people because they are there. There was a professor who uh, said some time ago, self-help groups don't cure. He's absolutely right, but it jolly well helps people manage their diseases. And that's, that's the important thing.